good today. Yeah, I've got a short day at work today, so I thought I would go ahead and swing through and do a little video. Nothing really on my mind today too much. I mean, other than the normal stuff I've been talking about with the uh, cases with the uh, Mongols out in California. Hoping everybody's doing okay today and hoping everybody is actually checking in on this stuff. Hang on, I just lied. There is something on my mind. It's got something to do with politics. Don't like getting poli 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 political on this uh, channel too, too much, but uh, something I was watching. I was, I was listening to President Trump talking about how he wants to do the wall, and I watched Nancy Pelosi sat behind him and do the whole little crap when things she didn't agree. But as soon as she agreed with something, oh, she was like, ah. okay, well, whatever. It's her prerogative. That's what makes this country the way this country is. Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, etc. Now, with all that being said, the press is talking about how stupid the wall is. The, the Democrats are on how stupid the wall is. Do I believe that the wall is 100% fixed? No. I don't. But what I think what I believe has got nothing to do with this, what I'm fixing to say. But why is it that the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi being one of those Democrats, Schumer being another one of those uh, people who voted for the wall before the Trump administration showed showed up and come to and come to be in uh, power, but now they're fighting it. That don't even make bad sense. Let alone good sense. Yeah, President Trump admitted he was the one that was going to shut the government down this last time, shut down for over 30 days. Yeah, I disagree with that. I don't think the government should ever have to be shut down over a dispute. However, President Trump said, I don't take blame. He would take blame. Blame for the government shutting down that time. But it wouldn't have been shut down as long as it was if when he offered to make a compromise on what he wanted, the Democrats said no. Granted, now the Democrats, I think, put some stuff up and he said no. So, I mean, so there we go. Tip for tat. Here's what I believe. I believe it ain't not one of them up there in office that has half a day gum clue what the heck they're doing. Okay, number two. Everybody for years upon years hollered, we need a president that's not a politician. We need a president that is a businessman. We have that. America, quit crying. You got what you asked for. I'm only 51 years old. Well, I'll be 51 in May. I'm only 51 years old, pretty much. And I've heard this almost my entire life. So how about we get together, come to the conclusion that not one president by themselves or is ever going to be able to fix everything. And then our Constitution, I thought it said that the government should not rule states or something like that. I, I'm not, I'm not that well educated when it comes to some of this stuff. So what I'm saying is my opinion. It's not, and it, and I may be paraphrasing on a lot of it. So just bear with me, please. But with that being said. Why is it that the government seems like they can, thinks they can rule everything? 
Now, don't get me wrong. I believe we need to put a wall up or something. There's too much of the there's too much of our border that's that's open. There's too much of our border that people can just walk across. Or ride a donkey across, or horse across. Most likely a donkey, but you know. But anyway. Now before anybody starts screaming, oh, he's a racist. He's this. He's this kind of bigot. He's that guy. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't have a problem with legal immigration. None at all. You want to, like these caravans. You want to start in Guatemala or wherever the crap you're coming from and you want to walk three or four weeks at a time. These things here are called a cell phone. Yeah, these things here, I'm talking to you. There's internet everywhere. Get on the internet and punch in whatever forms it is that you got to fill out to start your legalization into this country. You want to come over in this country? Come on over here, but do it the right way. I understand the country you live in ain't worth two cents. That's why you're trying to get out. So otherwise, Americans ain't trying to go into your country. Okay? We do it the legal way. And for God's sakes, learn English. Me, my children, my grandbabies should not have to learn Spanish, German, Guatemalan, whatever other languages out here. We shouldn't have to learn to speak it to communicate with you when you are coming to our country. And I think I'm speaking for a lot of our Americans in that part. Now the rest of it, I'm speaking just for me, my thought. My thought doesn't matter. What I think doesn't matter. Except to me. And maybe there's a few of you out here that watches this here later on down the road. You may say, hey, that old fart had a good idea. He made some sense. Some of you are going to probably think he's just a crazy old coot and he's just blown in a sand asylum. Whichever. Whatever side you fall on, I really don't care. Because number one, this is my right to freedom of speech. Just like what you feel and what you think is your freedom of speech. Don't give it up. No matter if somebody don't like what you've got to say, don't give it away. Because you know what? Once we lose our freedom of speech, once we leave our lose our freedoms of uh, associations, once we lose our freedoms to be able to assemble peacefully, we might as well be Mexico. We might as well be North Korea. We might as well be Honduras, Honduras, whatever, Honduras. We might as well be some of them far, other further, uh, further off countries than them. We might as well not even be American no more. Stand up, fight for your rights. Doesn't matter if you're a biker, as myself. Doesn't matter if you're part of the gay community, like people I know and are friends with. Doesn't matter if you're a juggalo, as friends of mine and one and my son, or some a couple of my sons, I believe, as my brother-in-law wants to be. Don't give up your freedom to express yourself. The only thing I ask about expressing yourself is to express yourself properly. Don't go out here and start no riots. 
Don't go out here. Don't want a hissy fit. But that's about all I have for you today. Sorry about being political. And as always, stay safe out there. And keep your knees in the breeze. Have a good day.